we're going to talk about uh, masking values, masking bits is another way you'll hear it said. Uh, it sounds very technical, but it's actually straightforward and it's very clever. It's very um, useful, especially in languages like C++, but you can do it in many other languages as well. Um, so essentially we have this mysterious value, and off to the right of the screen I have placed mysterious's value so you cannot see it. And then we have this mask. And essentially using this mask, we're going to peer into mysterious value to see what bits are turned on and what bits are turned off. And if we do that bit by bit, we can figure out what mysterious' value is. So these are short, so that would take uh, two bytes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, but a little hint I'll give you, I only use the lower nibble of mysterious value. So, so these, this is already a giveaway just to make the video go quicker. Essentially these are all zeros, we just want to see what this lower nibble value is. So I'm going to get rid of the rest of that. So mask right now, I set it to 1, which would set this bit down here to a 1. And mysterious value, well we don't know. We don't know what they are. And so um, the reason we use this mask is essentially uh, we're going to take all the values of mysterious value um, and them with the mask. And the only one that will really get through the mask, you could think of it like a gauntlet or a wall or just one open door, is is the value that's turned on with the mask. So let me just let me just show you. If um, mysterious value and that with the mask, if that's not zero. Now let's think about that for a minute. I'm just going to drop a semicolon here to make uh, IntelliSense happy. Um, I am essentially taking the mask, in fact let me rewrite this just uh, so you can see what the, the proper order that this is happening, and so it lines up with my numbers up here. So I'm taking the mask, and I'm ending it with mysterious value. Well I know that zero ended with anything is going to give me a zero. And the same for this one, and the same for this one, these will all be zero, guaranteed. So the only bit that I'm going to gain information from on this end is this uh, this very last one. It could either be a, a 1 or it could be a 0. If the bit comes out a 1, then that means that this unknown value is a 1 because the only way this could be a 1 is with a 1 and a 1, or true and true. Uh, but if it comes out 0, then I know that this value is a 0. So hopefully that hopefully that makes sense. Basically, we're ignoring all the other bits and focusing on this one unknown. And so that's what the check here is. Basically, mask and mysterious value. If that value that is returned from this expression is not zero, for example, if this is a one, this will turn into a one, which mean, means a one will return here. And if one's not equal to zero, well, then we know that that bit was turned on. Um, one's always not equal to zero. It's, it, it, essentially, I, I mixed up my words there. How about that? If this this value that returns, if it is not zero, then we know that va that bit was turned on. So, so let's just see out. Um, let's just see out one uh, in line. Um, else see out zero in line. Um, this is actually, this little setup I have here is perfect. You could convert this. If you want another exercise, you could convert this statement to a ternary and only take up one line of code. But, you know, that's, that's I probably would in my professional development, but that's me. Some people think they're less readable, but that, that's a tangent. Anyway, going back to this, let's, let's, let's put the expression back in there. So, if mask and mysterious value is not zero, then I know it was a one, else is a zero. So let's run this. Run it, build it, hopefully it compiles. Yes, it does. Oh, it's a one. So one ended with this mysterious value kicked out a one. So we know that this bit, this mysterious bit here, is a one. Well, good job. So now we know that that one, we know the value of that one. I want to test this one. So what, what what must we do? Well, we need to put a zero here and move the one here. Again, it's a mask. 
It's masking away all other bits except the one that we're interested in. So we run it again, compile. Oh, look, it's a 1. There was a hidden value there of a 1, so we know that this is a 1. Oh, did you catch my glitch? <laughs> Sorry, noticed I didn't touch the mask. So even though I changed it here in the comments, I actually didn't change it in the mask. So let's bump that to a 2. This is still mysterious. Let's run it. Ah, oh, it's actually a zero. I was completely wrong. Please forgive me. I, I messed that up. So this is actually a zero. Okay. So then what's this bit value? Well, remember, it's multiplying by twos, as we saw in the last video. So bring that up to a four, which is going to move this bit right there. And I'm masking out this one bit here. So if one and this, well, let's see what it is. It's a one. And the only way we can get a 1 in the output, thats that was a 1 in the output, the only way I can get a 1 here is to have 1 and 1. So we know that that bit is a 1. So we only have one more mysterious unknown bit. So 4 times 2, or, you know, just from the last video, I could shift 4 left 1, which would take it to an 8, or you can just put 8 there. Either one. So that puts that one here and zero here and and, and uh, drum roll please run it and it's a one so we know that the result was a one and one ended with one makes a one so our mysterious value is one one zero one which in decimal is thirteen so anyway that's 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 masking and and it's very common to do shifting and bitwise ands and ors and to get some masking